the fact that this could be your last Ramadan ever on earth. When you approach Ramadan with this attitude, and that is the case, it could be. Who among us is going to say that's not going to be the case? Could be our last Ramadan. This is the attitude you're supposed to approach Ramadan with. When this feeling is inside of you, when this attitude is inside of you, you know what happens? It creates another feeling and another special attitude inside. And that is the attitude of urgency. You begin to panic. And you feel that there's a sense of urgency within you to make the most of this month as much as possible because this could be the last time I live its days in my life. And this is why the companions, radiallahu anhum, when they were once with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam listening to an advice from him, the Sahaba were there listening to an advice. And they said, ذَرَفَتْ مِنْهَا الْعُيُونَ وَوَجِلَتْ مِنْهَا الْقُلُوبِ that the advice of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was such that we began to tee, we began to cry. And our hearts began to tremble and shake. And they felt the intensity and the depth of the advice of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So they said, كَأَنَّهَا مَوْعِظَةُ مُوَدِّعٍ It was though it is, it's an advice from a fair-willing person. Yani the gathering at that day, was so intense that they felt like these are the last words of Rasulullah to us. So you know what they said? They took advantage of the moment when they felt this might be the last time and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would talk to him, would talk to them. They said to him, فَأَوْصِنَا Give us advice. When they felt this is the last moment we're going to meet, what happened? It gave them a panic, a sense of urgency. They took advantage of the moment and they said, Oh, Sina, give us more. Advise us, advise us. When the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was doing his first and last hajj and he felt that it might be the last time he sees his ummah and hajj, he gave them a khutbah that summarized everything he has been teaching since the beginning of his da'wah. That's why khutbah. Hajjatul Wada'a, the khutbah of the farewell hajj, it practically combines everything in Islam that Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught over 23 years. And during this khutbah, he said to them, لَعَلِّي لَا أَلْقَاكُمْ بَعْدَ عَامِ هَذَا Perhaps I will not have a chance to meet with you ever again after this month. When he felt that this was the farewell khutbah, when he felt that this was the last time to see his companions in hajj, he took advantage to remind the people. You see, when you have the feeling of this is the last time you experience something, heck from Allah Azza wa Jalla, it creates something within you that you take advantage of the moment. And this is why Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would say to a companion when he advised him, إِذَا قُمْتَ إِلَى الصَّلَاةِ When you get up to pray, فَصَلِّ صَلَاةَ مُوَدِّعَ Pray the prayer of a fair-willing person. For imagine a person that is praying his final salat, Imagine, imagine a person now stands and prays and he knows this is his last salat on earth. The moment he makes a taslim, he is going to drop dead. How will his salat be? What kind of khushu' would be in his salat? What kind of honesty and sincerity is in this person's prayer? Do you think such a person would be distracted by worldly matters? And who messaged him? And what's on the outside world? And when he's going to collect his money? And when he's going to finish his job? You think he's going to think of this? He will think about nothing of this. None of this is going to be my concern. The moment I die, all of this is not my responsibility anymore. Those who come after me will look after my jobs and work and my money and my phone and all that. For the majority of us, unfortunately, we fast Ramadan and the main concern is I just need to get my fard over and done with. For let's add a new dimension to our Ramadan and this is one of the first ways you're going to prepare with a right attitude. The fasting of a fair-willing person. How is it going to be? Think that the first day of Ramadan, think that this is going to be the last first day of Ramadan you will ever see in your life. Allahu A'lam. Wallahi, my brothers and sisters in Islam, no one is guaranteed the first day of Ramadan, let alone the second and the third and the end of it and another year. Yani, you live in dreams when you think, Wallah, next Ramadan I'll make the most of it. You live in a dream really. So when we worship Allah Azza wa Jal with this feeling and attitude that it's our last Ramadan, this bi-ibnillahi ta'ala would enhance your worship and it will convert this worship of Ramadan from being a habit to being an actual worship that you want Allah Azza wa Jal's pleasure from.